Hello, uh, Code Ape here. I have uh, found a better way to do base meshes for sculpting. Um, so let's do it. The first I'm going to, yeah, I will hide the cube for now. And then I will add a empty uh, image. I will go and see here. Yeah, open uh, image. My reference images is here. Uh, yeah, I prepared a little bit here. So see a video projects. No, <laughs> sorry, Blender. Yeah, and this is the front image. And so let's rotate it. R X ninety. Enter, and then we would add the other one. Empty image. Open. side image so we do a rotate around X 90 enter and then we rotate around Z 90 done so now we have reference images let's do that and oops and select both and grab and Oh, don't. Nine. No. Sorry. Grab Z. Oh, dot nine. Good. Yeah, I forgot that I should also set the size of it. One. No. One point. Sorry. So now we have other our reference images here. Uh, hit one again. Then we show the cube. We hit tab tab four. Select the cube. Hit tab to get into edit mode. And then we hit right button and merge vertices to center then we grab that one hit Z so we look to the Z axis go to here okay last time I started to mess around with mirrors and, and stuff um, this time I'm not gonna do that because it doesn't matter if you are exact you will anyway split it in half and and take the half you like best so to say so here is uh, our starting point so let's just do it like this we go to toolbar add modifier can take the can take the skin modifier and then we take the subdivision surface and then we start to yeah and let's hit wireframe it's easier to see I think that's my opinion though but yeah so let's do this uh, EZ to extrude so if you have a couple of these reference points it's much easier later on to to get the sh out the 
base shape I think that's my opinion so you hit so now we have three points here now we do keep on doing the head here and Nick uh, hit said so basically yeah this is probably good enough uh, it's said again a little bit above the head it's probably good like that uh, these reference points now let's do the arms here e about there e about there e a little bit longer than necessary maybe about there yeah then we take this one again the other arm you can see you can try to be a little bit ah, grab ah, grab a little bit try to be try to get as close as possible and then we do like that and that so now we have done the arms and neck and the head time for the legs um, about there. okay there it is oops so then we just we'll split this later on then we'll just take the the part we like most so okay we have yeah this looks, looks good um, so it's time to start to shrink a little bit so you can actually start and shrink all of it a little bit probably good enough um, just take the arms see here control A see here uh, that's a good start the legs the legs uh, Control A. Oh my God. Yeah, it's good enough. And let's see here, these two maybe a little bit. Control A. Yeah, that's a good start. And. Yeah, you get it, right? I don't need to show all of this. I mean, you you get this, right? Uh, maybe we should just take a little bit more, uh, like that. Then we take this. Yeah, and then that. Maybe we could actually. Yeah, this is good enough, right? We could actually maybe try to get some of these points a little bit correct, right? We can take the shoulders, for example, here. Place them. Ah, that was wrong. Hit three. These are the shoulders, so they should probably be like. We will grab them and move them a little bit back here. And then we take the elbows. You see, it's super easy to, to work like this. Oh, uh, grab a little bit back like that, right? Yeah, that looks good. Mm. And then we take the law 
lost parts of the legs here. Control A. A little bit here. Yeah, that's good enough, right? Yeah, it is. We could actually maybe position them a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Grab. I like that, right? That's good enough. So let's turn on some. I'm pretty happy actually with this one. M much better result than the mirroring and stuff like that. So let's just. Yeah. That's good, right? Yeah, that's a good start. Much better base mesh, I think, than before. So, let's, we can save this one. Uh, let's go up one. Uh, yeah, save. And now when we have this, we can actually split this. We just... We hit, um, yeah, of course, I actually need to apply the modifiers, and we do that by starting from above, because else the, we can get uh, errors in the mesh, so, yeah, I need to be in object mode, so hit uh, tab. Apply, apply, done. And now we could, we can go back to uh, can go back to uh, to edit mode, select all, and we do let's see here if I can, I haven't I want to do bisect. Where is bisect? There it is. Um, that's good enough, right? Which one should we take? The inner or the outer? Yeah. This one, that's good enough. Yeah, so just done. No, do you see we have a mistake there? So let's do this from the beginning again. Again, so mesh bisect. There it is. Bam. Done. Much better. Okay. And now we can, when we have this one, uh, we can do mirror much easier than how I did before. So mirror. And then as you can see here, there's, there's a gap. So we just hit clipping and then we hit grab. No. Grab and X. Like that. Voila. Apply. Oh, of course. Object mode. There's nothing, as you can see here, is there is. This is pretty good, right? So apply. Now we have a base mesh that we can use for. Yeah, let's up, up the poly count a bit. Um, maybe glue edit mesh. No, let's just do it like this. It's up uh, a little bit, right? Nope. 
for some reason this doesn't work. Well, ignore it. Mesh. See if we can add some. Well, it doesn't matter. We can actually start modeling anyway. So let's just hit the model. Uh, no, I mean sculpting, of course. And hit Dynatopo. And uh, yeah, we could do something like this, maybe. Wow. Doesn't compute very well. Ha! Now, done. Have a nice evening, guys. See ya.